Hey guys, today we're gonna draw Clockman Titan from Skibidi dee Toilet. So grab a pencil, a paper, check out some of my books on Amazon. You can see those in the description of the video. And otherwise, let's get going. So I'm gonna start off by just drawing a circle for his head. Uh, that's not a very good circle. Let's just, there, that's better. And then from that circle, we're gonna do a swirly and start in the middle. What you're gonna do is just slowly work your way out, all the way out, and then kind of connect it right there. And then last of all for the circle, we're gonna do another little half moon as if there's a circle right behind it, just like that. All right, above it, we're gonna draw a clock. So what you'll do first is just draw a square, and then inside of this square, we're gonna do a circle and then do just a little dot and a couple of hands. And then just do like some dots that kind of go around the outside for the clock. Awesome. All right, let's go back to that first circle and we're gonna do a couple of little pieces of metal that just kind of come off the sides. I'm gonna make them look kind of like ribbons. And then what we're gonna do is right below it, we're gonna do a couple more circles for his chest and they're gonna be bigger, so draw it about that size. Let me straighten that out a little bit, okay? And then do another one right on the inside of that. Boy, my hand is shaky today. There we go. All right, let's do another circle here, and then last one, another circle that kind of goes in the middle, just like that. And then we're gonna connect these two, the head to the chest, with just a curved line that goes like that, and another curved line like that. Now I'm gonna do one more circle right in here between the two off to the left, and then some lines. It's kind of like a grill. So I'm gonna do some lines that come right through it. Oh man, he's starting to look pretty cool. All right, let's go back up to the kind of middle of the picture between the eyes and the chest. And I'm gonna draw his shoulders and the shoulders are gonna just curve like this. They're kind of like two metal plates and they just come down and over like this, kind of like a couple of bean shapes. That way we can kind of work off those. Let's go ahead and do his arms too. So on the left, we'll just come down and then curve over and up. On the other side, same thing, down, curve over, and up. And then we're gonna go down from the left, curve all the way across and up for his chest, just below that big circle. And then I'm gonna add a few lines between the shoulder plate on the left side and the circle, kind of creating some armor, just like that. And then I'll do one line on the other side, just so that it kind of, uh, create something a little different. All right, let's go back to those shoulder pads. On each one, we're gonna do a little rectangle that just kind of pops up on each side. And then I want you to draw kind of a dome shape with a circle on each one. These are like little clocks. Okay, and then one more dome shape between the head and the other dome shapes. And then I'm gonna put a couple lines that go through each of those, just to kind of show the, the metal armor. All right, last, let's draw one big dome shape that goes up and over that clock up on the top. Right above it, a line with one more dome shape. Let me redo that one just so it looks a little better. There we go. With a little circle right in the middle. And then last, I'm gonna do these kind of little spiky things, towers, things that come up. Oh man, he looks looking cool. Let's get his legs done and his arms and we'll be done with this guy. So for the legs, start on that left side, we'll curve down, right side, same thing, curve down and stop. Um, in the middle, just draw a little line like that and then curve on both. And then he has these um, cool boots. So I'll show you on the left one. They kind of have these little, uh, I don't know, flares that go on the top of the boot. So I'm gonna draw those that kind of go out on each side. Just 
just this like flared top to the boot and curves in. And then do kind of a rounded shape for each one. That's why I didn't really connect that one because I wanted to, oops, I wanted to um, have that rounded part kind of cover part of it. Okay, now on his pants, I'm gonna do a couple lines that again, just kind of create this armor look. Put a couple of lines right in the middle of the boot and then just diagonal lines out on each end. That's looking good. All right, let's go to the arms. The arms, we're gonna go out a little bit and curve down on both sides. On the outside, go a little farther and curve all the way around, and then create a second curve for the thumb. And then what I'll do is I'll create a little plate on the outside as well. Do the exact same thing on the other side. I'm gonna go backwards though, so go down further on the one side, just leave a little room for that second curve. And then don't forget the plate at the top there. Okay, let's do his gun and we've got him. So I'm gonna do a circle all the way out here on the outside. Do one more on the inside of that circle, just like that. I'm gonna do a plate like this. And then we're gonna come down and create this barrel just like that. A couple of lines in the barrel. And let's do some air vents on the gun. And there we go. We've got Clockman Titan from Skibby D Toilet. I hope you guys had fun. Let's color him. And there we go. Thank you guys again so much for hanging out. Thanks, and uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Check out my books if you have a minute on Amazon. And I'll see you in the next video.